Hi everyone and welcome to today's new video. So today I have a new CD to show you and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new studio album from Dragon Force. Yes, I've listened to this twice. I've got some thoughts on it. But first, a little bit of background on Dragon Force. Dragon Force are a speed slash power metal band formed in 1999 in England. This is their ninth studio album. Warp Speed Warriors has 10 tracks with a 49 minute runtime released through Napalm Records on the 16th of March 2024. So we have the nice artwork there. It's like an arcade themed album art. And on the back, we have an image there of the band and the track listing. Opening it out, this is cardboard packaging. Great. We have some nice artwork there. And then we open it out for that. The disc, the artwork on the disc. We have that. And we also get a lyric book. So we have the lyrics. We don't have the lyrics for all the songs in the lyric book. We don't get the lyrics for the last song, which is the Taylor Swift cover. Personally, not my favourite song on the album. I didn't like it that much. I thought the lyrical content just didn't fit Dragon Force. Musically it was okay, but lyrically just didn't think it worked. But yeah, you might like it, but for me, I just didn't like it. We have an image there of the band in the middle. And we have lyrics there for one of my favourite songs, Space Marine Corps. Really fun, catchy song. Really loved it. And we have more lyrics and image there with the new bass guitarist, Alicia Vigil, I think her name is. And we have the last few lyrics there. And then production, who's in Dragon Force and... We have Herman Lee on guitars, we have Sam Topman on guitars, Mark Hudson lead vocals, G Anzalone on drums and Alicia Vigil on bass. And on the back we have that. So yeah overall I thought the album was pretty good for me. The last song on the album just didn't do it for me. The Taylor Swift cover, Wildest Dreams. As I say, the lyrical content just didn't seem like it fit Dragon Force. But apart from that, I thoroughly enjoyed this album. As I say, Space Marine Corps, one of my favourite songs. Doomsday Party, which was released as a single last year. That one is a great, great song. Really like that one. Kingdom of Steel is a bit of a slower paced song for Dragon Force. If you know Dragon Force, they are over the top with their solos. They turn everything up to 11. They play the guitar faster than the speed of light, like a million notes a second. But with this one, Kingdom of Steel, it's a bit of a slower paced song. It's more like a, almost like a ballad, which was a really nice song. I really enjoyed that one. And as I say, overall, I thought the album was really, really good, apart from the last song, which... If it hadn't been there, I wouldn't have lost any sleep over it. But uh, yeah, I have heard both versions of the Taylor Swift song, Wildest Dreams. The Dragon Force one, musically, is a bit more fun, but I didn't, I didn't care about the Taylor Swift song one bit. I just think it's just a bit overrated. Just a fad with her, with her at the moment. But that's just my opinion. But uh, as for Dragon Force's new album, Warp Speed Warriors, 
I thoroughly enjoyed this album. Happy to have it in my collection. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's new video. So, hope you enjoyed. If you have, give the video some big thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you've listened to Dragon Force's new album, if you did, which is your favourite song from the album. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. And as always, until next time, take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching.